Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, hello. It's this game once again. Welcome back to my own personal Sisyphean task. As I roll this boulder named Daggerfall slowly up the hill for eternity. In our attempt, our continuing attempt to reach level 10 and then finish the main quest. It's, uh, it's going very slowly. We did in the previous stream uh, do a quest for the Underking, who we hadn't been in touch with before. We had to go get a Jade MacGuffin from a castle in a Calon. And we did get it. I haven't handed it back to the quest giver yet, though, because we went for a little ride in the hills on horseback for a while at the end of the stream. You hate his toes. <laughs> Would I rather be playing Battlespire? I've never played Battlespire, I have to be honest with you. So it might somehow be even worse, I don't know. No sound issues here, but you're not very sensitive. Yeah, um, yeah. I should mention as a disclaimer for the benefit of the YouTube people. This week, I'm not using my earphones. Uh, I'm just using. I've just got my speakers plugged in for my PC. Um, hopefully, my microphone sound cancelling, noise cancelling, whatever is is good enough that you won't actually hear too much echoey nonsense. But that's that's the disclaimer, just in case there is any audio issues this stream. Hopefully, there won't be. All I know about Battlespire is that it's incredibly buggy. So that, that's pretty much all I know about it. Should play the travel games on N-Gage. <laughs> oh, is there like a browser-based port of those, do you think, going around these days? Ah, oh, that's that lovely sunset. Okay. So, where are slash where are we? Oh, did I just get texted back finally? That's what I was waiting for. Yep. Cool. I have the phone on the desk here because I'm, I'm waiting to hear news from the, the cat fosterer lady. Although I, I, I'd be surprised if she actually texts me back today. She might do though. Uh, yeah, I know the agent the underqueen sent me there, but where did he... Where was he? Maybe that Was there a letter? Was there a letter? There we are. Tim. The werewolf battle mage. Or as the people of Daggerfall have come to call him, Triceragoth. He likes the colour yellow. The on-screen chat is also off. Hold on. I think I know why that might be. Uh, actually, I don't know why that, why that should be. The alerts are on. Add. Uh, is it a media source? Or is it a browser? Twitch chat. I think we can Yeah, here we go. Oh, there it's back. All right. I think that somehow got deleted. I don't really know how or why. But you can see the chat now. There you go. Where should I put this? I think it's usually over here, isn't it? Somewhere. There we go. Right. Uh, Gesba, this is the man. Right, we, 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 right. <laughs> the Kingsley residence of A Akahasi in Sentinel. There we go. 
We made the mistake last time of thinking that he meant the city and not the province. So Sentinel, Aka, Akahasi. Ugh. All right, find Hasi. There it is. See, even you couldn't spell it right, Django. <laughs> I rest my case. <sighs> so I can arm shots for matching gauntlets. Yeah, I think I only have like a pair of chain gauntlets still. It's like my, it's the worst piece of armor I still have. Everything else is either dwarven or mithril or adamantine. I mean, there's a few shops in town here. I, 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 I'd be surprised if any of them were an armor, though. Gem stores, general stores. Yeah, I know. You need to go to a larger town to find one of them. I have adamantium boots, a mithril kite shield, and a dwarven right pauldron that I'm not using right now. I think I've got a mithril right pauldron. Music is defo louder than normal? Why would it be? Why would it be louder than normal? window sound setting is exactly the same. I literally just checked it two seconds ago. Who cares, but... Well done, Tim. Let me cast the spell upon the jade. There. The jade is now safe and yours to keep. Not even death can hide a true descendant of Tiber Septim from the Underking. King Lysanders did not die in the Battle of Kringane. He was slain by treachery before it. A monument to him in High Rock is an empty tomb. His remains were secretly taken to an ancient tomb in Menevia, which is I, which I will now reveal to you. I do not know who betrayed Lysanders, nor why his spirit haunts the city of Daggerfall, and not the battlefield of Kringane. I have kept my part of the bargain, and you have earned the gratitude of the Underking. All right, so finally, I don't know how many hours into this playthrough we actually are, now we've finally found some genuinely useful information. I guess we'll take this magical jade. Do we know what it does? Nope. Finally, plot! Okay. Should I have written that down? Dagger Fort, yep. Which isn't saying much because on many previous attempts at Daggerfall I barely made it past the initial dungeon. Um Now what? I guess we're going back to the Fighters Guild and do some more generic side quests, don't we? Let's 
try a tri town that I can actually spell the name of. <laughs> Which is difficult in this part of the world, apparently. Naressa, there we go. Let's go to Naressa. Alright, I don't understand why, apparently, the sound is really loud this week. But I guess clearly I'm going to have to do, try and do something about this, even though it doesn't sound very loud at my end, and it honestly doesn't look that loud in OBS either. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm, I don't know. I'm confused, and I don't know. Hello. It's a full moon by any chance. Yep, it is. Hi everyone. You just spawned in now because I turned human for a brief second. I just want to loot this guy. Oh, apparently we're at carrying capacity again. Wagon. Um wagon, wagon gold. How do I get... Where does this school come from? I wasn't so long ago. I, I, I got rid of like 20 grand and I had 4 grand left. 20... 5... 7... 50 can go in the wagon. Up to 102,000 on the wagon. Anything else good? Elven left pauldron. What am I currently equipped with? A dwarven left pauldron. I think dwarven's better than elven in this game, so... You dream once again of the moon. Right, oh, you know, whatever. I shall do that then. I shall continue dreaming of the moon. All I want is a fighter's guild. Oh yeah, I forgot you can you can ride a horse as a werewolf in this guy. <laughs> I think you can go shopping as a werewolf too, actually, so if we see an armor it's bad. Alright, before we go any further. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe, that. maybe that'll help. Is there even a fighter's guild in this town? I think that's a fighter's guild. That looks fighter's guildish to me. A little square blue building. Okay, that'll do then. I don't know why it's different. training in critical strike. Thank you. Alright. Surprise invasion. Eight legged freaks. Wizard of Muck. To save a vampire. Courier work. The bodyguard. On order of the monarch. Mystic vampire from dusk till dead hunt for a gargoyle. Domestic squabble. Fight his lich. Pack of giants. Fight his lich. Listen, Tim, if you haven't already done a bunch of jobs for us already, 
Sorry, if you hadn't already done a bunch of job for us already, I wouldn't even suggest this, but there's a job I don't even want to tell you about. It sounds like crying for the moon and more dangerous. It's offing a lich in the Big Ter Cabal. And it only pays 1,500 gold. You're not interested, are you? Yes, I am. I desire XP. Um, oh, I shouldn't have mentioned it. Listen, you're, if you're really going to do this, get the best stuff you can. Get magic stuff, ebony blades, whatever you... Uh, this lich has to cross to oblivion in 17 days. And you've got to be back here within that time to get your reward. You're unbelievable, Tim. Timothy. Try Seragoth. Good luck. You're going to need it. How long at the moon, you say? <laughs> right. Um, Cabal? There it is. I assume this is going to be a dungeon. The Bogota Cabal. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's one of those little doors and a mound of sand. Blood soaks the earth here. Yeah. I'm just gonna go through some werewolf form for the giggles. Yeah, it's probably like two days or something travel time. How to train your werewolf. Alright. Here we go again. Can I... Uh, here's a question. Yeah. Alright. I can cast spells while I'm a werewolf, so let's just do that. Oh yeah, I can't loot you. Do I really care, though? It's not like there's any shortage of dungeons and people to loot. Yes, if we were a Morrowind werewolf, that lich would be screwed. Oh, it's a, it's a nymph, I want to say? Or just a, a, a sorcerer that hasn't gotten dressed yet. Yeah, it was a nymph. Dead end. I mean, dead ends are good, right? Dead end means I don't have to come back here and explore more stuff. Like that. Whoa, hello. That was an iron Atronach. Oh, well, well. Never seen them before. I did that. Da oh, it was a trap. That was a bit cheeky. He pretty much just spawned right behind me. Oh, that was kind of nasty at that time. Elder Scrolls this looks horrible. Like, I agree. I, I completely agree. I don't even want to play this game. I have to because it was a Patreon goal. But I agree. This game is horrible. I didn't kill you. Ah, uh, that. This is where you came from. I mistakenly thought I'd already looted that room, and then... Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Fucking someone remind me to quick save it next time. Thank you. 
All right, naked chick. Round three. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I access the inventory while shape change? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's actually alive this time. Well, he was for like a brief second. Oh, God. Let's use a magic thing on him. Short shirt of shocking. It's so weird, like that you could use items of clothing as offensive weapons, even when you, even though you're not wearing them. Like, what am I do? Am I whipping this shirt out of my backpack and just like waving it at him? What's an iron atronach weak to? Do you reckon? Water. See, like you would think that in terms of a basic sort of like very gamey elements elements theory, right? Like, oh, he's he's made of metal, therefore water. Bad. Oh, we found the lich. All right. Hi. He's just gonna keep passing his saves, isn't he? Oh no, maybe not. Puny mortal, you should not have attempted to interfere with the affairs of the undead. Now I shall add you to my collection of slain Breton mercenaries. You have a collection of specifically Bretons. That is impressive. Well, he's dead now. I mean, he was dead already to begin with, but you know, whatever. That's briefly untransform. So I can loot this guy. Actually, is it is it no longer a full moon? All right, it's no longer a full moon. I can I can remain in human form now. Freaking sweet. Hammer time, guys. Well, since we came here primarily for the XP, I think I'll just wander around a bit and kill stuff for a bit. So this was just sort of hanging out in here, I guess, with his iron atronach buddies. <laughs> well, that was that was inevitable, wasn't it? What's his face got banned? Even though I agreed with him, like, oh well. <laughs> you have to wonder how much of that. How often does that happen? Troll comes into a stream like this game looks shit, and then the stream is like, yeah, it is. I totally agree. What what do you, what in the troll manual? What do you do then? Probably just tell the stream to kill themselves or something really unimaginative like that, I guess. Spam the N-word. Oh, right, that old chestnut. It's like, it's like, fuck it, I'm out of ideas, I'll just spam racist words. Spell just because I never do normally. It's a bit tame, isn't it? Your mum jokes. Well, are we at primary school? It's a weird texture set. I ain't seen this before. Man, it is iron golems all the way down here, isn't it? Oops, I just cast light again. No, not points. Fucking hell. Right, let's just rest for a bit. Don't waste too much time because there is a time limit on this quest, but you know. Alright, where's my, where's my lantern? Lantern oil! Lantern. Gold pieces, dragon skirt. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Ooh, a short skirt. It's not even a magical one. It's just a random skirt. Right, asshole. Why, 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 why are you sneaking in behind me like that for? 
What did you do that for? Uh, you know what? Let's take that Dwarven Mace just because I can use it with the Kite Shield if I want to. I mean, it's not as good as this Mithril Hammer, but... You know, if I, for some reason, just desperately need a little bit of extra defense, it's there. <laughs> this, is, this is Elder Scrolls 6, huh? Yep, they've, they've decided to go back to their roots big time. Sixteen times the detail. <laughs> oh look, empty rooms. F fucking thrilling. I'm already bored of this dungeon. Right, um, yeah. Let's go back upstairs and leave. You feel you are being watched by who? All the corpses I've left in my wake. And there, come up. There it is. How long are you planning on continuing the, the, this LP? Until it's done, mate. Um, I made an agreement. There was money involved. I was young and foolish. Now I must live with my mistake. Is there going to be a TS6 at all? I mean, I assume there is going to be. Like, it would be a heck of a thing to just backtrack on that after announcing it and be like, yep, we're actually not going to make this game at all. Yeah, they'll make it. It'll just end up coming out in like 2026 or something. We had a discussion about this in the Discord today, and, and their track record since about 2002 when Morrowind came out with Bethesda is they've released a game not including Fallout 76, and obviously not including other stuff that they only publish but don't make. Um, they've released a game like once every four or five years since 2002. So you, you know, that includes all the Elder Scrolls stuff and all the Fallout stuff. So if apparently Starfield's coming out next year that means that you could probably expect Old Scroll 6 in like 2026, 2027 maybe I'm going to be halfway through my 30s by the time that comes out fuck a duck No, wait. Did I not do the quest? I'm confused. I guess it's done. Don't know. Uh... The fact that it's still coming out in 2022, next year, is actually, you know, it's probably, it probably works out when you, well, when you factor in the pandemic to the development time. And the fact that apparently it's using a new engine as well. That, fe that seems fairly on schedule to me. Wickedness in high places. Queen's commission is to knock off a necromancer who also happens to be a high-ranking member of the Mages Guild. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually a member of the Mages Guild. <laughs> I don't know what that... Uh, that might have some bad side effects. I don't know. Save the mage. Mages Guild is looking for someone to go rescue one of their own that got lost in some cave. It'll pay like any other job with us and you'll get in good with them and us. Want to take it? Yeah. 
Head on down to Koshon Tower. I'll mark it on your map. If you can bring Balki here in 18 days, he'll have money for you. Um, whatever. Cool. It was C apostrophe something. travel recklessly we can do it in two days instead of three how do you travel recklessly <laughs> I don't know do you just like accidentally leave your passport somewhere do you not take your vaccinations like what <laughs> Oh god, it's one of these dungeons that has non-dungeon music. Oh, I do so love these. Oh, that's a weird piggy. Hello. this horrific um, tile set as well, isn't it? The really twisty, turny one. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I've already been here. No wonder it seems familiar. I had another quest that sent me here before. Down there, round up back to the start and cast cast a um, mark or recall or whatever it's called in this game. Because screw trying to get out of this labyrinth for a second time. Right. Anchor. Dungeon spaghetti. Um. Since I've explored this entire place, can I actually use one of these? They, they just don't work, do they? They're broken. They don't work. They do not fucking work, mate. All right, does anyone remember what the quest objective was last time in this place? that might save us some time if we just go to the same place again. Oh no, there wasn't a quest objective here last time, was there? There was just, we had to just kill a bunch of giants. I remember now. Yeah, it was to kill giants and we had to just wait for them. This time we have to find the Mage's Guild guy. Oh boy. Alright. Why'd they have to send us here? Why here? Why this place again? <laughs> Sorry, bear. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, it's true. 
as long as it's not one of the main quest ones, anyway. Ah, hello. Ho, oh, good day, friend. I've been searching for weeks for a mummy possessing superlatively fresh wrappings and simply cannot find it. The Mage's Guild like has no further use for them at this point. To be honest, I agree we should find a way out of this place. All right, madam. I want out of this bloody dungeon as fast as possible. Now, are we taking her to the Mage's Guild or are we taking her to the Fire's Guild? Grizzly bears famously found in African deserts. Yep. If you cared to rationalize it, you could say it was, it was a pet of one of the bandit people living there, but why even bother trying to rationalize this blasted game at this point? Just smile and nod. Gets a lot of rain for a desert, doesn't it? Alright. Job done. Give the gold. Get quests. Rodents of unusual size, huh? Now that do the menial job. House here in town is infested by giant rodents. The wife claims they are rats. Husband claims they are bats. Either way, they want them gone. Are you interested? How on earth do you, like, disagree on whether an animal is a rat or a bat? Does it have wings? Yes? No. That's an, that's an easy flowchart right there. First class herbs. She's a training lady up here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, critical strike. Alright, there's a lot of shops in town. Let's see if we can find an armor as well. Alright, fine. You know, screw this. I'm gonna rest here. I'm sorry, there are enemies nearby. Oh, it's probably a werewolf hunter in it. Probably a werewolf hunter got in. Come on, where are you? These bloody people. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Get. Just trying to get a night's sleep. That's all I'm trying to do. What's time? 129. Alright, let's rest for nine hours. I think the werewolf hunter was hiding in the closet until I arrived. <laughs> like under one of the beds. I get training to from you again. I damn right I can. Alright. See you, Dr. Fat. Right. Where is a pedestrian when you need one? Uh, you, madam. I'm looking for... Alchemists. First class herbs, as you Americans would say. Oh, it's on the map. Get in. Do you have any armorers? The Emperor's armorer. There's no idea about this place. Okay, good. First is General Mail. It's weird. General Mail. 
Sounds like General Electric. General Motors. <laughs> General Chainmail. This is not a very high quality shot, but we'll have a look anyway. Yep, all rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Garbage. Totally not a garbage. Go to that town square over there in a minute and see if they've got anything. That sounds like that's such a daggerfall thing, isn't it? It's like we've programmed the NPCs to give you wrong directions sometimes because it's realistic. No thought whatsoever was given to whether or not this would be fun or frustrating for the player. All they cared about was that it was realistic. It's fucking, that's Daggerfall in a nutshell, man. Oh, pff, Jesus Christ. Hello, dog. I can't help but notice a total lack of rodents, mate. Am I in the right place? No, I'm not. It's the next house along. Okay. Ratties. Mate, are they like regular sized rats that are just in the wall? Because that's going to be a lot more difficult to deal with, if I'm honest. You need to buy poison for that, not a mercenary. Seen any rats? Not seen any rats, chump. Sex dungeon behind the cat. Oh, I can, it's private property that I can loot, apparently. But uh, no rats. You having a giraffe? There's no rats here. There you finally are. Jesus. Was that it? Nope. Alright, we're just gonna stand here in the middle of the shop and wait. Stealth rat. Yep. I mean, rats are pretty sneaky. It's kind of their thing, I suppose. So I was chucking a can in the bin. That's what that noise was. Realistic rats, yes. Developers were like, well, rats usually live in the walls, so let's spawn them in the walls. But, um, Mr. Lead Developer, sir, if you spawn the rats in the walls, the players won't be able to kill them. Shut up, Bill. 
It's realistic, okay? But isn't that going to be really annoying to play with? I don't care. It's realistic. Players can't handle realism. What's even the point? But I thought games were a form of escapism, not... Shut up, Bill, before I fire you. <sighs> Screw this quest. I can see why hardcore Daggerfall fans back in 2000... <laughs> the body's still there. Um, hardcore Daggerfall fans back in 2002 thought that... Are you kidding me? I can't even talk to him now? Good God. But I can see why they, they back in 2002 felt that Morrowind was a total dumbing down for filthy casuals. Because if you were the kind of masochist that actually liked this game quite frankly. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't like Morrowind very much. Fuck it, let's go to the shops. <laughs> Do you know what, if it did say that, I didn't even notice. Bargain mail. Well, you know, excuse me, I'm not optimistic. Fills you with confidence, isn't it really? Bargain mail. Yep, as expected. Sod all in there, that's any good. That's an alchemist. This is a first class weaponry. Who apparently does have a little bit of armor available. A mithril battle axe. Yeah, no, yeah, they do have some decent stuff here. I think is that an adamantium katana? Yeah, it is. Folded 500 the times. Mithril dagger. Sweet. Dwarven short bow. Mithril flail. A raincoat. Yeah, yeah, cosplaying as Paddington Bear. Oh my god, they followed me. Okay, that's funny. What the hell? <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> that's not how rats behave. <laughs> they, just, they don't follow the exterminator out of the house <laughs> on his grocery shopping. <laughs> What? <laughs> Rat hit squad. Yeah, it's like one of them uh, Caesar's Legion squads that come after you in, uh, in New Vegas. You have angered the rat faction. You have been vilified for your actions. Oh, there's enemies nearby again, apparently. My critical strike has improved, though. 
Okay, now I can actually rest. Our enemy's nearby again. You're not a rat. <laughs> Sorry about the werewolf hunter. It happens sometimes. Enjoy having that on your mantelpiece. You can't rest for more than 99 hours at a time. of hand. Now there are two of them. Now oh, we've leveled up. Fantastic. We're level nine, everybody. Uh, max out intelligence. There we go. My blunt weapon skill has improved. Haha, <laughs> climbing mode. Active rage. None of you are rats. What is going on? Are you the knights of the rat? The order of the rat has come for me. Let's go back to the fighters guild, shall we? The rats hide some mercenaries. <laughs> that would be a fun twist, wouldn't it? If that were actually intentional. If you're making a very tongue-in-cheek RPG. I think, yeah, it seems we're done. Hunt for giant rodents. Not, never again, thank you very much. Hide and go seek. There's a group of criminals in town who've absconded with some pretty important evidence. Someone needs to go in quick and wipe them out before they do some irreversible damage. Feeling like moving fast today? Yeah, sure, even though this quest sounds really fishy. These thugs are trapped in a building in town, trying to barter their freedom with this little piece of paper they've stolen. They said they'll burn it if someone tries to get in. I don't think they'll do anything risky if they just see someone, but once you start the fight, you better finish it fast. One of them has to have it. Bring the paper back here and I'll have a reward for you. Oh, almost forgot. The Dead Dagger. I guess that's the name of the pub they're at. Hello? Bystanders? I require your assistance. Anybody? I mean, it is the middle of the night and it is raining. I don't blame you for not being out walking the streets, but... Plenty of camels out here, and they seem to be fine. Listen in. What is this? This is a temple, isn't it? Does it even have a front door? What is this building? Order of the candle. Oh, okay. Quick save. Oh, God. Good idea. I'm just going to run around trying to find this stupid pub in the dark, because that's just what I do. The White Dragon, the Lucky Barbarian, Why? 
a white ogre. Uh, there's one, there's a couple up here. First class supply store, that's not what I'm after, is it? That fawn. The knave and sword. Yep, I don't think interior NPCs give directions, unfortunately. The flying badge. <laughs> That's a good name for a pub. I like that one. I bet it has a fantastic sign out front. <sighs> the Black Goblin. Right, yes, they can give you directions, but they can't mark it on your map. That was it. The Restless Fairy. It's been a night nightmare figuring out how to generate the hundreds of towns. I mean, it's not really. I think all the towns have the exact same layout based on how big they are. Except for maybe a couple of the unique ones like, uh, you know, with, you know, Daggerfall and Sendinor and stuff. Then again, I think it also might be done in chunks. See, like how this is a nice little neat square, and so is this, and so is this, and so is this, and so is this. So it's probably done in the same kind of way that the dungeons are. See, that that is like a town square chunk. That's some sort of graveyard chunk, probably. That's a garden chunk. The dead dagger. At last. Right. Um, let me guess, they're gonna be like top floor or something, aren't they? Hello. Yeah. Buggy has some code words and others come out of hiding and spell something burning, but don't know where it's coming from. I've done this quest before, haven't we? Hello, hello. Where are you? You don't have the note, do you? Remember to throw your foes' item to find the burning parchment, slapping the fire out. You store it as safely as you can. Job done. Another mithril flail. The game's throwing these things at me now like it doesn't. like they're going out of style. opening on your street at the end of the month and you've already been barred. What? What? You like the flail? 
Admittedly, if I used the flail, I could just like pretend to be a discount bright yellow witch king. Um, <laughs> but I just have a deep and abiding love of warhammers. So. You know what? No, no, no. No question me, thank you. What are my skills? Primary blunt weapon restoration destruction, major. Running, dodging, medical. Minor, daedric, giantish, critical strike. 79%, whoa. How about we train in daedric or giantish? Uh, you do giantish, don't you? Do you also do running? You do running, perfect. Practicing running. Just been doing laps around the outside of the uh, the fighters guild. Do you fucking mind, my son? successful backstab there. Oh. <laughs> can you just can you guys just tell them that I'm not home? Bunch of knights outside of the order of the candle just like Waiting, like they're sending guy one in, get guys in one at a time. Like, all right, we sent Reg and we sent Bill in, and they've not come out. Should, should we send someone else in? Who wants to draw straws? <sighs> right. Wild hunt. Now oh, there's a game I'd rather be playing. Hey there, Tim. I, actually, I, found, I dug up my copy of Witcher 3 the other day because I wanted to put the map on the wall. The uh, the office here, which has kind of become the nerd cave because it's full of nerd shit now, um, since I kind of combined this room with the with the Warhammer gaming room. Um, I've now started calling it the nerd cave, and I wanted to stick up a bunch of old fantasy maps on the wall. Um, and one of them is the, the Witcher 3 map of the Northern Realms. I've got it up there next to my map of Westeros and my map of Neverwinter and my map of Tamriel and my map of Vardenville. It's a nice map, actually, the Witcher 3 one. It's in full colour. Beautifully illustrated. Tried Battle Sector yet? No, I, just, no, I haven't, to be honest with you, because it's, it's expensive. It only has two factions. And I just sit there and I look at it and I think, like, why not just play either Dawn of War or actual Warhammer instead? Why? 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 I mean, like, if, if people enjoy Battle Sector, good for you, frankly. Like, I don't mean to piss in your cornflakes. It's just, in my personal circumstances where I have those two options available to me instead, I just don't understand why I'd bother with it. Um... Right. Some of them then debt to satisfy this client who's sick of a werewolf that's been eaten up his farm animals. You know it's in Clarnum's hold. Alright. Hire a werewolf to kill a werewolf. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so it's only you gotta go in there and you've got to kill the thing within six hours, so basically you can't you can't rest really when you when you get in there. I mean, I've heard from people here have played it that Battle Sector's alright, but yeah. I'd rather just get my models out and play a bit of actual 40k. You know. I feel like as, as a game, it's really aiming for the worst of both worlds. It's like, okay, we're going to make it turn-based and have the, the rules be kind of tabletop-ish. Um, but it's going to be... 
a digital game with only two factions. So, yeah, that's kind of the worst of both world, both worlds for me. Like, very limited choice of factions that you cannot customize, really. Um, and it's not even like real time with, you know, re real time. It's 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 yeah. I I just it's I'm clearly not the target audience. Let's put it that way. I don't want to say the game is bad. I'm going to say that I am not the target audience. How's about that? All right. I mean, we've done a lot of adventuring in, in, in Sentinel, so yeah, if we're starting to get repeat locations, that wouldn't surprise me. Maybe we should move on to a different province. Um, anyway. Clanum, Clanum's Hold. You pass overgrown fields. Do I really? <laughs> okay. No turning back. It's time to find the werewolf before he escapes. Now, theoretically, you would think that all I'd have to do is just sit here by the door. But no. That's not how this works. Like, there's only one way in it now. It's one corridor here. Oh, hello. Don't tell me. No, you're not the... Oh, there's lots of them. This is like when when Indiana Jones is chasing the guys with the wicker basket in Raids of the Lost Ark, and, like, he enters the marketplace that's full of wicker baskets. That's, that's the situation we have on our hands right here. Oh, hello. That was sneaky. I see you down there, tap dancing in the corner. Oh, hello. Werewolf hunters. More of them. This time they weren't here for me. Why do I keep finding skirts everywhere? This is weird. A mithril shawl bow. Bells, bells. Never seen one of them before. Oh dear lord, my health. I think I'm a mage, you know. I mean, if I wasn't, god, this game would be difficult. If I just went pure fighter. Ugh. Horrific. Ah, secret door. Find that through sheer dumb luck. Whoa, okay, this is different. Dwarven Greaves. Do I have Dwarven Greaves? I do. do take falling damage. I was doing that to Urux today when I was playing Shadow of Mordor this afternoon. Um, I found out that if you just uh, do a, a wraith stun when they're stood on the edge of a promontory, they just go flying off and instantly die. Very satisfying. Uh, your hunt was successful. Lovely. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to tell which werewolf it was, but maybe because I'm a werewolf, I'm able to sort of figure that kind of thing out by scent or something. to the exit. <sighs> Uh, 
Shadow of Mordor is a very satisfying game, yes, I must admit. I played it all of yesterday evening and I played it for a good chunk of this afternoon as well. Because I didn't have anything better to be doing, really. I sort of, you know, the whole uh, the whole cat adoption thing has been postponed a week, so I've just sort of sat here with a clear schedule going, well, now what? So I decided to play Shadow of Mordor. What's up here? An empty room? Oh, what a surprise! First game of the sequel. First game. First game. I've never actually played the sequel because I've never finished the first game and I'm getting a bit funny about that. I always try and beat the first game before I move on to the next one. Um, I somehow feel like I've cheated if I don't. I know that's a bit weird, but that's just the way my brain works. There's only two games I've ever done. I've ever done that with really. Um, one was Baldur's Gate. I never finished Baldur's Gate and then just went straight on to Baldur's Gate 2 and also the same with The Witcher. Instead of finishing The Witcher 1, I just went straight to The Witcher 2. Oh yeah, I suppose, for, except for Arena. Alright, Smarty Pants. <laughs> Oh, they've closed the gates. How rude. Ow. <laughs> Carried my horse over the, uh, over the wall, of course. in a city. No, you can't. No, that's a shame. Yeah, I, I, I tried Pillars. I, in fact, I even tried it on stream and just for some reason it didn't click with me. I found it a little bit grim and humorless, and the NPC companions, unfortunately, I did not find terribly compelling, and I feel like a game like that lives and dies by its NPC companions. Problem is, I'm used to Planescape, and when it comes to those style of games, those Infinity Engine style games, I'm used to Planescape and Baldur's Gate, and that is two games that have very have, have definitely have a sense of humor, shall we say, and very unique, memorable companions in the case of Planescape. Uh, yeah, why not? More running training. There we go. I have magical sash. Let's rest. So the reason you never got full Dragon Age Origins playthrough. You did get a full Dragon Age Origins playthrough. Unfortunately, though, uh, Twitch misplaced some of the VODs for it. But we did do a complete Dragon Age playthrough. For a day drop. We've done this one before, but it was quite a challenge, so let's try it again. The Hold of Vluvum.
I wouldn't worry about it too much. Dragon Age Origins is a game that I end up coming back to and playing probably once every two or three years. Um, so we're probably long overdue another playthrough by this point. So I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'll, be, I'll, I'll end up playing Dragon Age Origins again at some point in the vaguely near future. Um, what am I, what am I doing? Where is the, where is the entrance here? It's this way. Yeah, it's another one of these sand castles with a door in the front. Lord of Lovem. Giant! Hello. We've reached that phase of the game now where giants just spawn randomly at us. It as much as you remember. Ah, fair enough, I guess. I've played it through a number of times now, and I, I still, still enjoy it. Not sure what Origin I would play through the next time I do it. Though. Two werewolves and a daydroth walk into a bar. That was a bit easier than I thought it would be. Daydroth are usually quite nasty. He just decided to freaking ignore me completely. So you are not worth my time, peasant. Even as the peasant was repeatedly hitting him over the head with a mithril hammer. I mean, I think you're overstating the comedic aspect there, classic. Baldur's Gate and Planescape are by, are by no means comedic at all. They are quite dark in their own ways, but they understand the value of comic relief. Emphasis on relief. been dead for a while. So one of the mithril hammer, you know, spare just in case I need one. Adamantium short sword. It's kind of annoying how adamantium weapons look almost identical to iron ones, isn't it? Oh god, still on top of the sprite, therefore she's invisible. <laughs> background to the start if I go this way. Yeah, it looks like it will. Well, there's a little bit I didn't explore there, but I imagine it's just a, a bend in the corridor that links these two bits up.
It is very bleak, isn't it, Pillars? That's that's the word that probably best describes it. It is a bit. It is incredibly bleak. And there are very few moments of humour to kind of help you get through it. When you consider the subject matter of, say, for example, Planescape Torment or Baldur's Gate 2, for that matter, you know, they're not... You're not playing a comedy game at all by any any gymnastical stretch of the imagination. But the game, the, both those games know when to make you smile as well as make you frown. And I think that's very important. What's the gold quest is on? Good question. <laughs> what was it? De yeah, we had to kill the Daedroth. That was it. We killed a Daedroth. I'm going to assume it was the right one. Possibly a stupid assumption, but... Oh, look at all those skill level ups. That's what you want to see. That's the whole point of this exercise. Not that we benefit very much from stealth improving, but... Alright, we haven't, we haven't had a magical flying horse in a while, have we? Away! that jade yet? No. I have a gigantic pile of magical doodads that I still haven't identified yet because honestly I haven't needed to. And I now I never seem to bump into a mage's guild whenever I need one, so get the chicken quest from Battles of Gate 1 in Pillars of Eternity, would you? Can't trip me in blunt, can you know? More running it is then. Go away. <sighs> All right. What next? Debt beyond measure, Outlander. Someone here in Nares has gotten into much, so much debt that running away is the only option. Apparently, there are headhunters on the way, so this might get ugly. I want to keep this one safe? Sure. Uh, you're gonna find Chuckton over in the Kingdom residence here in town. You'll be taking him to his house in another town to first pick up his things. We've done variations on this quest plenty of times before, haven't we? Then lead him to a hideout, wherever that's gonna be. From there you get paid and then you're home free, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've heard Pillars of Eternity 2 is a bit more lighthearted. 
But you know me and my whole hang up about playing the first game before the second one. Um, what was the name of the bloody place? Kingham Residence. You there, madam. I require your assistance. She doesn't have a clue. I mean, that's fair enough. Like, if you asked, you went walked into town and asked some random bloke, do you know where this specific house is? They'd be like, go away, you loony. I don't have a clue. Thanks. There we go. I will not eat you when I become a werewolf next time. At least not intentionally. Kingham Residence. Kingham. Ah! There it is. Away! Nuba. <laughs> yeah, Nuba. Nuba. And then there was that guy in Gothic as well. It was kind of similar. Remember him from the first Gothic? See Gothic there you go, that's another that's another fun RPG that had a sense of humour. Made by Germans no less. Go figure, right? Promised Gothic stream when well, was like I keep, keep I keep saying when we finish Daggerfall. Ah uh, hello. Hi there, you're from the Fighters Guild then. Oh good. Clist uh, promised me he'd send someone capable. I guess that's a compliment, huh, friend? Ha ha ha! Well, um, I'm just going to be hiding out here for a while. Uh, Alright. Joyous Ascension of RK to get his stuff. Then the King's Tun residence. King's Tun, man. We going to Jamaica. The Joyous Ascension of RK. Joyous Oracle Redeemer Tree Ascension of RK. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Joyous Ascension. You are entering Joy's Ascension of RK. That's a sentence. Kingston. Kingston residence. Right, you, sir. Thank you. Oh, nearly hit him with my hammer. That would have been foolish. It's just on the corner here. Okay, he's got his things. Bossom Farmstead. to this quest will get feck all experience for it you feel the need to hunt the innocent oh no oh god really bad timing we have a warrant for his capture on behalf of the bank of sentinel we're authorized to yeah sure there you go against chicks and bewildered protests you deliver him into the hands of his enemies one of the mercenaries hands you a pouch full of money in the band departs don't mess with the bank. We had this exact conversation last time. If you're getting a sense of deja vu, folks, don't worry. So am I. Right, I need to hunt the innocent. Um, sorry. Nothing personal. 
See that? That lunar arm just completely disappeared. I would be able to leave the desert. You want me to leave the desert? I find the desert to be one of the more picturesque areas of the game, actually. With Unity installed, but if you insist. There is a bit of the map that's like jungle, if I recall. I don't think we've been there yet. There is a bit of the map that is like a rainforesty type area. I forget where though exactly. Ah, but it's the innocent classic. Yeah, you need to hunt the innocent, and if you're on death row, you're probably not innocent, are you? <laughs> Goddamn cosmic mythological loopholes or lack thereof. Alright, let's go somewhere else. More north. Bubareg. Mornoth. Alright, Mornoth. The city of Mornoth. In Mornoth. 13 days of travel. Hey, Kilgore. Hello, sir. How is your day treating you? Ah, uh, here we are. Yeah, I think this is the jungly bit of the map. Judging by those tree silhouettes. Alright, we're going to have to levitate into the town on our horse. Find ourselves at the inn. Ah, there's one right here. Perfect. Don't mind my horse just levitating past the window. Where's the door? There it is. The green goat. Marvellous. I require a room for a day. Till I find a fighter's guild. Let's say eight hours. Ooh. This is very fancy. Welcome to Mornoth, everyone. Do they have a fighter's guild in Mornoth? I reckon they do. I reckon that's what that is over there. They've also got a bunch of shops. Let's go shopping, shall we? Let's see if they've got a decent armor in here. sell odd weapons or is he himself odd I know it's an obvious question to ask I'm not getting any points for originality or wit there but I do still feel like it needs answering mithril bright pauldron huh what do I currently have how much would that cost quite a bit of money actually but luckily I'm absolutely rolling in it so I'd have a pair of mithril pauldrons. Superb. Although this one is prettier. 
I guess it's got that going for it. Is my hammer become unequipped? It did. Hey, you can have this other mithril pauldron I have. And this elven one, actually, for that matter. Any other armorers around? Not in this square. Oh, oh, hang on, maybe this. Quality shields. Quality, my ass. Ebony Warhammer. Oh, hello. Is that better than Mithril? By Jingo, it is. Don't mind if I do. Anything else good here? Just change the name of your shop, mate. Your shields are rubbish. Your warhammers are excellent. Okay, Fighters Guild. Probably that building over there. Dagger for with visual enhancements. Yeah. I, I've, I kind of, I wasn't so keen on, on a lot of the texture and stuff upgrades to begin with, but I did find that for some reason, if you have better textures and, and stuff, better graphics in general installed, I find it much easier to navigate interiors. Uh, like dungeons for some reason I, I struggle with it a lot more with vanilla textures than I do with upgraded modded ones I, I don't know why that is you could probably write a PhD paper on why that is but that just is the case well, alright I want to be fancy this time we've done most of these now Gen have we done Gentle Giant? I'm not sure we have. Um, I've got a weird request here, I guess. Folks over in Mornoth are dealing with a giant over in their house, but it's not hurting anyone. Just sitting around, staying out of the sun. I don't know if you I don't know if you know any giantish, but do you want to try to get him out of the house? I could give it a go. We do know a bit of giantish. There are two ways to get a giant out of the house, alive or dead. The client doesn't really mind if he dies, so there's that. In case you're actually good with his language, maybe you could try showing him this bit of root bulb. I don't know if he'd eat it, but it's worth a shot, I'd say. Anyway, it's in the Hawkston residence at Mornoth. Get back here in five days. Stay safe. Purple mushroom. Alright. Uh, location, general Hawkston residence. Gib map, there we go. Upgraded fonts. Yeah, they are a nice improvement, actually. May I mention it? I, I've almost taken it for granted at this point. But that's a very good point, yeah. Alright, here's the place. Nope. Okay, maybe that's not the place. Where is the place? It's this one. Yeah. In spite of its peaceful behaviour, there's no mistake in this giant residence. You know you're in the right building. Why? Because of the smell? I suppose I am a werewolf. Mm. Hello! You toss the root bulb to the giant. He takes it kindly and puts it into a pouch on his animal skin. You then make a, make a short and simple conversation with him. He explains that he has taken for himself the hospitality of this dwelling, hoping to form an arrangement of some kind once he understands their language. You explain that the family will not accept it, and that he should move on to a different region. He thanks you for your goodwill, and promises to leave soon. As you prepare to go, he pulls a bear hide bag from a nearby floorboard. 
finding no use for them himself, he gives them gives you he gives you the contents, which amounts to one thousand nine hundred and eighteen gold pieces exactly. All right, toodles, Mister Giant. What a nice guy! I know, right? He used to sit there going, and the people in there are scared of him, but actually what he's trying to say, My good folk, I wish to enter a cordial agreement of residence with you. <laughs> I think violence would be better. Pete, how many giants have we killed in this game so far? Like, it's at least in double figures. It was nice to have a nice, polite conversation with the giant for once. Where's my giantish skill at this point? It is... Oh, it's in minor skills, isn't it? Yeah, 26%, so... Yeah, apparently that was enough. Identify the jade. All right, where's the, where's the, where's the nearest mage's guild, then? Excuse me, madam. Immediately showed it me on my map. What a legend. Alright, it's just south of the fighters guild. Perfect. You're just here to troll? Well, clearly, Pete, you're not doing a very good job there because you haven't repeatedly shouted the n-word in chat yet because that seems to be how trolling works these days. Remember when trolling was, like, a specific thing? It wasn't just being a dickhead on the internet. It was, like, you know, basically pulling a prank. It was almost like April Fool's. from the cat lady? No, it wasn't. Disappointment. All right, let's get these things identified and we'll turn in the quest and then I have to go. So, oh my God, where's the person who identifies stuff? It's you, thank goodness. I don't sash. I think I have a ton of stuff in the wagon as well, so hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Identify the lot. Right, what do we got? The never tiring jade. Stamina when used. Blazing sash of fireballs. It's self explanatory, really. Steel claymore of far silence. Battle axe of featherweight. Slow falling. Degrees of fortitude. Amulet of Friendship. Feather Beads of Featherweight. Short Shirt of Lightning. And the Iron Katana of Undeniable Axis. Right. Cheers, pal. Did those items stay in my, uh, my wagon? They did. Great. the jade do again? Stamina, wasn't it? Do you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Because that might actually be occasionally useful. But maybe the amulet of friendship. Well, how'd it go? Well, I guess that's the best we could have hoped for. Thanks for not letting us down. The family savings disappeared around the time the giant appeared, so there's no need to pay this time. Sorry. Uh, oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm afraid I must leave you now. Another week of Daggerfall in the bag. We did level up today, which was nice. One more level to go, and then we can start finishing the game. Which I am looking forward to an awful lot. Cheers, my dears. Uh, let's see, can I raid anybody today? Let's have a look. Um, ooh. Yeah, let's raid Francois. Francois! Mr. Francois. I hope he's not stopping his stream or something. I guess we'll find out. Alright, uh, cheers everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it immensely. Um, and yeah. More of this back next week, next Sunday. Same time as usual. Um, as well as more Fallout on Friday. And uh, something random on Saturday. That's the plan. Uh, well, that's all dependent on whether I have to go uh, pick up the cat next weekend. If I have to go pick up the cat next weekend, there might not be any streams. But we'll see. Anyway, assuming that everything's fine, that's when to expect the streams normally, under normal circumstances. So. Alright, cheers everyone. Toodaloo!